morning, everybody. So welcome to Luca. Now I'm here in Luca because I'm interested in looking at rental properties like everywhere. And I think Luca is a great tourist town. It has uh, well over a million visitors a year. And I'm inside the Centro Storico. That's the historic center. And I'm actually in front of the Duomo, the San Martino. So this is one of the big uh, cathedrals in the area. It's beautiful inside. And uh, what I'm doing here today is I'll be looking at a couple properties, but mainly I'm trying to get a better grip on the, the market here because I find that the prices here are a little more expensive than in some other places that are great tourist cities I've been looking. And I haven't really been able to find the numbers that tell me that the stuff is either more rentable or is rented more often or rents for a higher price than things that I can buy at a lower price. So I'm trying to get more acquainted with the city. I have a special guest, so to speak, today. Uh, I have a translator coming because later today I'm in a meeting with some finance uh, people, a loan broker, and his English isn't that great. Uh, parlo italiano, ma non parlo molto bene. So I wanted a translator that was fluent in uh, English, Italian, and she also happens to speak Spanish and Portuguese, so I'm looking forward to meeting her. She's also a tour guide, so uh, that's kind of what's on the agenda today. So we'll be taking a tour around. I'll be showing you guys some fun touristy stuff, and then we're going to take a tour of a property or two. Uh, might might divvy it up to a couple different videos because uh, it'll get kind of long, but uh, I think you'll find that Luca is a lovely city. The sun's just now coming up. Look at it coming through the cathedral and the tower, and uh, we're going to have a great day in Lucca, in Tuscany, in the state of Pisa. We'll talk to you guys soon. Hey guys, so my tour guide slash multilinguist uh, translator showed up. This is Diana. Ciao, buongiorno. And uh, she speaks not one, not three, not five, but how many? Six languages. Six, Bilingue. six languages fluently. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Sto provando imparare italiano and it's driving me crazy. I mean, I've been trying to learn. Ce la farai. So, uh, so Diana's a specialist in languages. My last trip here, uh, I had to go into a meeting with a bank, uh, actually a loan broker, and uh, we wanted to make sure this time that I wanted to make sure that I understood absolutely everything because they weren't English fluent. Uh, I'm certainly not Italian fluent, although I can understand a lot of stuff. So she's also uh, very well versed with Luca, which is where we're at. We're actually walking on top of the old medieval walls. They were built sometime around the 1400s, 1500s, and they circled the whole city. So anything, and let me just pan for a second, anything on that side of the wall is the Centro Storico. That's the historic center, right? Yes. I said that okay? Si, okay. Centro Storico. Yeah. Ho parlato italiano tre settimane. Um, I'm just kidding. It's been like two years I've been trying. Uh, so uh, the wall circled the whole city. And so anything inside the city, of course, is very expensive because they can't build anything else. Yes. Uh, there's very limited space. So, uh, but my issue that I'm trying to understand about Luca is why the buildings here seem to get a premium over other cities. Now, of course, it's not as expensive as Florence or Venice or Rome or Milan. But it's still kind of expensive based on the rents that they collect that I've seen so far. And uh, so I'm trying to get a better handle because I don't want to invest money here if I can't get a good handle on how I'm going to make money and why the buildings are getting like a 30% premium over the building, say, in Montepulciano, which is where I was yesterday. And I'm making an offer uh, on a building there right now. Uh, and it seems to be about 30% less there. But the rents are very good. So... What do you know about Luca that makes it so special? Uh, I think it would be perfect for an investment because it's a pretty big city. You get to have everything. You have mountains, uh, you have uh, Alpi, Apennini, and in 30 minutes uh, you arrive to the sea. And I think it is something particular. And also, it is an elegant city. It is not known worldwide, and this is what makes it uh, a good place to invest in because there are a lot of tourists but it's not crowded so you always get to have that calm experience uh, that local experience you get to visit uh, a place uh, a real place you get to to know the real italy and you never have that 
uh, I already said that, crowd experience. Right. Uh, okay, as you could have uh, in uh, Venice, uh, Rome, uh, or Firenze. Cities. Crappy, crowded, you name it. All Everyone eating ice cream and dripping it on the uh, <laughs> statues. So uh, do you think over the last, I mean, you've lived here basically your whole life, more or less, yes. except for when you moved into, uh, into Italy, but do you think that tourism is increasing in Lucca? Yes, I think in the last years it has increased a lot because usually people come to Italy or I would say in uh, Tuscany to visit Firenze or Pisa, which are pretty crowded. But when they are here, they always get to know about this elegant city and the um, tourists come here to visit the city and I think they always uh, uh, are, uh, can I say, breathtaking. They remain very exciting. Yeah, they they get happy about it. Yeah, because it yeah, is they a get excited city. about it, and then they're coming back again and again. Yes, because it is a big city. It is a beautiful city. Uh, buildings are in a perfect condition, and you get to visit a lot of things. But you never have that crowded uh, experience as you might have uh, in other. Uh, Biggest city. Yeah, because that's the worst. And I find, especially when it's hot in July and August, I won't even travel in Italy unless I'm just sitting somewhere uh, up in the mountains when there's not very many tourists. Uh, it's just no fun to be in Rome on a hundred degree day uh, yeah. with all the tour buses yeah. and stuff. You would never find a place where to eat or to have a drink during summer. Why in Luca you can find it easily? It's so, so relaxing and chill. So we're going to go to this meeting. We're going to go have some lunch first, I think, actually. Yes. Uh, yo, o fame. <laughs> uh, and uh, we're going to go uh, look around some more. And then we have this meeting with the uh, loan broker that she's going to be translating at for me. So we have everything really under control. Laws here are really different. I'm going to talk about that in a different video. Uh, you won't believe how they buy and sell properties here. It's very different, at least from the United States. I don't know about other uh, Western countries. Uh, and then uh, we're going to actually go tour some apartments later on. So that'll be a lot of fun. So we'll see you guys in just a little bit. Ciao. Ciao. Dopo. See you later. Morning guys. Well, I'm about to leave Lucca. You can see the old uh, medieval walls behind me. They're about 500 years old and they completely circle the whole city. Look at that. Unbelievable. Um, so uh, we didn't find anything we wanted to make an offer on. I hope you guys liked uh, the little bit of video I was able to shoot inside that rental. It was kind of crowded and I uh, had a lot of people with me so uh, I didn't get to take a whole lot of video. But it's certainly a beautiful place. Uh, Lucca is an unbelievably nice town. I uh, hope you get a chance to come and visit it. Spend two or three days so you get to know it. And if you're interested in any sort of um, of the properties that I've shown on these videos, you can always write me at Brad's World 8. That's Brad's World with the number 8. And uh, just ask me about them. Say the one in Luca, and I'll get you some contact info so you can see it. All right? We'll see you guys soon in the next video. Thanks.